Hello, welcome to this video dedicated to Leonardo AI, an online platform for advanced AI image generation and modification. A very good and free alternative to Midjourney. In just 12 minutes, we are going to see how to start with Leonardo AI from scratch, from joining it to obtaining stunning results with AI. To start working with Leonardo AI, you can sign in on its website with any Apple, Google, Microsoft account, or with your email address. You will be directed to the main homepage, where you get the featured AI models for image generation listed on top, and the most recent images created by the Leonardo community. From the left, open the community feed to have access to the complete library of images generated with Leonardo AI from which you can copy any prompt, take any image as reference to generate others, or simply download it to use it as you like. All public images here are royalty-free and open for commercial use. Open personal feed to retrieve your own generated images, and go to fine-tuned models to get the complete list of AI algorithms you can use to make images, including fine-tuned models for specific styles made by the Leonardo team, or even the community. You can also train any of your models on training and data sets, but we are not going to check this in this tutorial. Leonardo AI offers three main tools you can use. AI image generation to build images from scratch through textual prompts, AI canvas to edit and manipulate photos and images, and texture generation to generate textures for 3D objects. We won't see textures in this beginner guide. Let's start generating images. As you go to AI image generation, the workspace changes, showing the prompt line on top, and several features to guide your creation at the bottom and on the left side. First of all, type what you want to generate in the prompt line and hit generate to create the images matching your idea. Each generation consumes some tokens that you can check on the left. You have 150 tokens daily if you have a free plan. You may switch to a subscription plan to have more tokens. And also unlock premium features such as Leonardo Alchemy. On the left, you get several options for your image generation. You can set the number of image variations per generation. Set it at 1 or 2 if you are just starting while consuming less tokens. On paid plans, enable Photo Real to achieve more realistic and cinematic images, or Alchemy to improve the usage of your algorithm model for the highest quality. With Prompt Magic, you generate images more coherent with your prompt. And with public images, you set whether your image is public or private, only on paid plans. Public images on Leonardo AI can be used for free by you and everyone, so you may switch to private if you want to get an exclusive license over your generated images. On Image Dimensions, set the size and aspect ratio for the generated image. Just pay attention that you may lose quality if you do not use the default settings for the chosen model. Increase Guidance Scale to follow the prompt content more strictly, limiting the creativity of the AI. In case you want to generate patterns or a group of a specific subject, make sure to enable tiling. Now let's see how to write a correct prompt. Define the main subject, the background, and the environment. And add details such as colors, vibe, mood, and anything that can describe your idea. You can also enable negative prompts to underline what you do not want in your generation. You can also click on the dice and go to Improve Prompt to get some hints for your prompt. Or simply go to Prompt Generation to get several prompts covering more complex ideas to copy and use. Or to start from. Besides the prompt, the AI model is also important to generate your image, since it sets the basic graphic style to use. For example, 
you may choose absolute reality to generate real like images or switch to Dream Shaper to generate dreamy images with glowish colors. Stable Diffusion is one of the basic AI models to use. And 3D Animation Style is the best to generate images recalling a 3D animation film. Some other models are included in the Premium Alchemy version, and other custom models can be found by going to Select Other Model, provided by the Leonardo team or the community itself. Once prompt and model are set, you can also go to Add Elements to fine-tune the model style for an extra touch of customization. Select one or more of them and set their respective weight. Switch to Image Guidance to generate images by starting from existing images you have, up to four if you own a paid plan. When you upload any image, make sure this is compatible with your prompt content for the best result. For example, by sharing the same subject, background, or mood you want. On Type, set how to use the image as guidance. Setting a high strength level to preserve more of the original image. And a lower one if you prefer more creativity from your generation. Now let's see how to edit your generated images. Click on one to preview it. And use the buttons at the bottom to delete the image or download it in JPG format. You can also unzoom the image, even remove its background automatically. On the right side, you get several options to upscale the image, such as enlarging its size up to 2K pixels of width. With the least quality loss, check them out. For deeper modifications, you may open the AI canvas from the main dashboard. At first, this is completely vacant. So you may go to the Upload Image to browse for any image generated. Or even real photos from your computer. You can also work with multiple images overlapping on the canvas. Hold down the Control or Command key and use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out and hold the spacebar key to pan around. Enable the Select tool on the left to click and select any image. Drag it to move it on the canvas and use its nodes to scale and rotate as you need. To remove any image, just select it and use the Backspace key. Other tools allow you to add extra elements on your canvas. Use Sketch to brush on the image with color and brush size set on top. And enable text to click and type text on the canvas. Adjusting color, font family, style, and size on top. It is outstanding what you can do when you edit images with the AI algorithms. The canvas shows a colored box called generation frame, which is the region delimiting where the AI will run. With the Select tool, place it where you need. And then enable Draw Mask to set where the AI shall modify the image while preserving it at the same time. At this point, set the prompt at the bottom and hit Generate. If the result is not satisfactory with the mask, you can also try using the Erase tool to remove the regions to edit and force Leonardo to generate the result more effectively. You can also merge a detail of one image into another, move the first image outside the second one, and enable the Erase tool to extract what you want from it, leaving some safe contour around it. At this point, move it where you need it on the main image, move the frame on it, and define the mask where the two images shall merge. Describing the wanted result from the prompt. 
Amazing, isn't it? The generated modifications are indeed new images with the same size of the frame that can be selected, moved, and deleted. So pay attention when you move the main image after adding corrections. You can also select, move, and delete masks in the same way. Make sure to use Ctrl or Command and Z to undo any time. The result of the corrections depend on the AI options on the right, such as the model to use, the number of images to shuffle at each generation, and the size and aspect ratio of the generation frame. Once you are done, you can save the entire content of your canvas by going to Download Artwork on the left. Obtaining a PNG format, which also saves any transparent or blank area. This is all you can do when using the AI Canvas and InPaint OutPaint mode. You can switch to image to image when you need to perform heavier corrections by always matching the original image. Or choose Sketch to Image to brush on the image to apply manipulations on it. Very useful if you want specific shapes and colors to be used. Thank you very much for watching this guide. Make sure to check out our YouTube channel and visit our website to learn more about other amazing AI tools completely for free.